Hello, this is Russell Electrics Weld. This is a how-to guide for crimping and soldering wires when supplied the opposite connector blocks. First of all, you have your wires with a decent set of strippers, preferably a decent set of strippers. You want to strip about five millimeters of insulation off the wire. So do this with each one. So next, with a good set of crimpers, you get your terminal, you put it in the crimpers. You don't want to do it all the way up because you've got to put the wire in there. So you put your wire in, and there's so you want it so you can just see the end of the wire just poking out the end and you crimp and then you repeat that process with every wire and terminal you have so in show a little bit of wire crimp little bit of wire sticking out, crimp. If you do them at five mil, you shouldn't crimp the insulation. It's important you do not crimp the insulation in this part here, or else you will affect your connection again. So now, this is a very important part. Using hand crimps doesn't give you a proper connection. We use machine crimps at work, but when you get them supplied, you get three crimps and you get the wires. You might not have a machine. It's probably gonna be the case that you don't have a machine. So it's very important that you solder the wires. So with a soldering iron, give the tip a little clean. Bear in mind, this is a very good soldering iron. Your one at home, or if you borrow one, it will probably be one for a hobbyist. So it won't be as hot. So this may take a little bit more time. First of all, I'll give you an example of bad soldering. This is the sort of soldering we see a lot. So if you see, it's soldered at the top, but you can still see wire. Now I'll show you an example of good soldering. Soldering iron on the joint. Feed the solder in nice and slowly until it flows. You should only see one piece of metal after this. If you see copper still, it's not good enough. With your connector block, grab your wires. The terminal will only go in one way. If you try and put it in the wrong way, it will not fit like this. It will not go in. No matter how hard you try, it will not go in. So, turn it around, push it in, and it should click. And just repeat that with every wire. And you should hear quite a distinctive click, especially with this connector block. Others, maybe not so much, but there should still be a noticeable small sound. Once all the terminals are in the block, there is a small piece on the side which you've got to push in and that will give you a little click as well and that is how to crimp, solder and connect terminals onto wires.